Hey, how's everyone doing? Here at Crypto Blitz, I'm Ripple Van Winkle, and I'm happy to have you back. It was a fantastic weekend. I hope you all enjoy your Sunday. I hope you have an incredible plan. Going to wake up the girlfriend and then head to the casino first thing in the morning, just the way we want it with no one else around to film this video. Go ahead and do what makes you happy. Go for a stroll, possibly win a few prizes, and then come back, perhaps with a cup of coffee in hand to enjoy the remainder of the day basking in the sun. That is the typical day for me. On our walk out, I hope the casino gives us a pleasant smile. There is a lot to cover in this episode. Spot ETF. How much money does the juice up sauce up make? The Ethereum flag has just been raised in front of Wall Street. Stuart Alderati will be speaking to us soon. It remains a mystery to me. It's overwhelming. The SEC is planning to appeal. There will be much back and forth and drama. Pay attention to what do you think they sell. They prevailed. There will be no further funding for them. They received the maximum amount that was anticipated. Torres will not return to this set of regulations and say, you know what? You have my full support. This is 94% of what you requested. Wow, that's terrible. Permit me to hand out additional funds to you all. No way. Furthermore, Stuart Alderati informs you. Not only did I get the timestamp, but I also obtained the footage. Prepared to offer you. No one will be able to file an appeal in this matter. I have finished the task. Bitcoin or BNB coin will be the focus of our attention now. Yeah, I think we can accomplish it. Cryptocurrency $61,129. It has gained approximately 0.5% in the last day. The price of Ethereum is 2,673. There was a 1.52% increase. Coming in as XRP's USDT AT and USDC are both pegged to the dollar. There is a 1.29% decline in the mean lean 58 cents. On an hourly basis, it this is attempting to enter the green zone. We will witness the outcome. On weekends, there's usually not much going on. Is there on Monday, we will observe the outcome. Where is XRP? I'm hoping the markets get a small boost. Similar to other markets in Chop City, it is located there as well. At this time, the majority of the market is located in what we refer to as Chop City. The pattern repeats itself until it decides to act or break out, at which point it goes through a series of peaks and valleys. Is it 100% common? Listen, Bitcoin is about to make its big move any second now. Through 74, it will blow. It will soar into the $90,000 zone. That's the next step for this. Chop City is where we're staying for the time being. I am not concerned. The bull run will continue. There will be more bull runs. The good times are only beginning. Everyone has been waiting for this. This involvement in the cryptocurrency market dates back three, six, or nine and a half years for us. For periods such as this within the bull market. That is the future that lies ahead of us. Just a reminder, the bull run won't begin until at least a few months following the halving. Because we witnessed Bitcoin reach a new all-time high before to the halving, we were pampered this time. That is really unprecedented. How does that tell me something? In a super cycle we find ourselves? The crypto industry is going to experience a cyclical influx of unprecedented wealth. Personally, I interpret it that way. The markets are heading in that direction. This won't be over until summer or perhaps even the fall of 2025, people. It only just started. At this point, you have not seen anything. The lead on poly market is extended by Kamala Harris. Does her stance on cryptocurrencies change? You won't hear me bring up politics too much on this channel. Truthfully, I am not very interested. A variety of viewpoints will be expressed by all individuals. No amount of persuasion will ever change someone's mind. I see. Consequently, discussing it is pointless. What we see, however, is that she is paraphrasing Trump on the subject of cryptocurrency and immigration border policies word for word. Also, for all of the other significant subjects he has addressed, if you still have doubts, I recommend you hear what this individual said, particularly during the Bitcoin conference about cryptocurrencies. Plus, I want you to check out her most recent public statement. She has basically paraphrased all of the man's remarks. Incredible, isn't it? Yes, I am aware. Afterwards, we see this, the Ethereum flag flying high of Wall Street. I think it's awesome. Ethereum, Bitwise, and ETFs. I can't say for sure if this is related to Bitcoin. The fact that he created this specifically for Ethereum is thus intriguing. Meanwhile, what has happened to ETH? Towards the very end of the zone, if you will. We warned you that ETH can fetch about 28,000. We prepared for the worst case scenario, which involves things like black swans, and we were successful. It would reach 22 points. Its precise impact was contingent upon. The ETF's timing. Why? The news was bought, I suppose. What caused the price to rise and the news to fall? Once again, the price dropped. Whatever happens with Ethereum and exchange-traded funds ETFs next. Inflows for the week have surpassed 105 million. 
Might we see 3,000 Ethereum soon? I would never doubt it. A possible $12,000 is in your future with Ethereum when it rises to 5,000, 7,000, and 10,000. Ethereum is heading in that direction. Just like the Bitcoin ETF, the Ethereum ETF is following the same pattern of events. What happened with the Bitcoin ETF? There was an announcement of a Bitcoin ETF. There was an announcement of a Bitcoin ETF. The price of Bitcoin dropped. As a result of an ETF's crushing effect on asset prices, people find this amusing. Regarding Bitcoin, it is now trading around $60,000 and is expected to surge into the $90,000 range soon. At this very moment, the same is true with Ethereum. After the release of the Ethereum ETF, the price of the cryptocurrency plummeted. The current ascent is from a low of 2200 The first stop will be 3500 At the end of this bull run, the following stop is $5,000. You might expect to see an Ethereum price between $10,000 and $12,000. The XRP situation is going to be the same. The XRP community will be the target of ridicule and laughter when the XRP ETF drops in price, just as they usually do and while that's going. on, People seem to have forgotten that Ethereum and Bitcoin went through the same process. I also expect to see a Solana ETF before we do XRP, so that's probably a given. The influx of institutional capital will cause the price to execute a moonshot. How people feel about XRP up to this point is an open subject. Is the American market an option for Ripple? He has heard that it is irrelevant because all transactions took place elsewhere. No, he's absolutely correct that is significant. It wasn't. That Ripple didn't want to do business in the US, it was only that US banks and firms were hesitant to work with them due to uncertainty about the use of XRP. So all transactions took place outside of the US. It is critical that Ripple announces signs or begins up their business flow in the U.S. now that we have clarity there since the U.S. is a very wealthy country. With XRP serving as a bridge token, Ripple would be overjoyed if those lovely U.S. dollars could join the XRP ledger. So yes, it is. Important. When it comes to global economy, the United States is right up there. Lots of trade with other countries happens. So you're hoping that XRP will serve as a connecting mechanism. Even if everything goes wrong, we'll still utilize the stable coin since it uses XRP internally. After that, it's all chance from here. Personally, I think it's important for everyone to have a market plan and an exit strategy. In this case, Crypto Michael claims he will earn $1.5 million in a flash of XRP. Reaches my $2 target. It will take some time. There will be some delay since it will not be arriving this year. Keep an eye out for it next year. Profits in the other altcoins in the bullish setup will be my next moves, he said, once it reaches that level. That is fantastic. He is determined. Allow me to repeat myself. Next in line is XRP. According to my Marxist 2017 predictions, you should diversify your holdings into other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum before they rise in value. Then you may ride out the market crash with XRP as your last stop. If XRP has a meteoric rise, it will signal the conclusion of the cycle. Plus, he wants to charge me $2 for it. I will not sell additional peer to XRP unless it hits an all-time high. However, guess what? He is free to do as he pleases. I have no intention of offering criticism or critiquing his actions. You need to come up with your own strategy. I'm simply saying that personal backup plans should be in place for everyone. Around the 42nd mark of this club, Stuart starts talking. He will inform you that there will be no appeals. We consider this task completed. We are committed to meeting. The 30-day deadline for the payment of the fine is per the court's judgment. An appeal is obviously within the SEC's purview. It seems to me that they have 60 days to decide. However, the emphasis here is on the certainty that this order provides to Ripple. Our primary objective is the sustained expansion of our business on a worldwide and domestic scale. We are grateful for the clarity that this litigation and its outcome